My name is Dustin Babcock. I'm a third generation farmer here in Groom, Texas. I farm with my family. Uh, we farm cotton and corn, wheat, and grain sorghum. Working with my dad is probably the most rewarding thing of being on a family farm because he's a, an immediate source of knowledge and honest. I can pick up the phone or just ask him a question and know I'm gonna get a good answer. Also working alongside my brother and my cousins kind of ties us all together. When I was a kid, I got to experience farming with my grandfather. Things were a lot different back then. We didn't have sprayers and chem fallow. We did lots of tillage. And that's how I remember my summers, plowing wheat stubble fields behind the combine. Today, things are different. We don't till as much and we try to do as much chem fallow so that we can keep a no-till rotation intact. One of the main differences between my generation and my grandfather's generation was the introduction of cotton into our growing. And my dad actually started growing cotton in 2003. That was the first time cotton was ever raised on our farm. The main weed species we face in cotton that are the biggest challenge are kosher weeds and pigweeds. Here in the Texas Panhandle, some of the challenges we face weather-wise are extreme wind. In the spring especially, days and days of just sustained winds where it makes it hard to get our chem fallow done and any of the spring work before we plant. Also we have extremes in the weather from extreme droughts to wet spells where it may rain and keep us out of the field and we really have to find our windows to get in the field and get the work done. I think it's important to adopt new technology all the time to try to make better use of the inputs that we are having to buy, even though our input costs are rising and commodity prices are falling. I first found out about Green Eye in the summer of 2022. I think what caught my eye was saving money on our inputs, but also we're not putting as much chemicals out in the environment. My dad has always been one who was very progressive, always been very accepting to change. When we discussed this, it was kind of a no-brainer once we started looking at the benefits. My system was installed in the winter of 2024 and I've been able to use the system on every crop from fallow all the way through planting and post-emerge spraying in 2025. The process of implementing Green Out on my farm and on my sprayer was pretty simple. They came and picked up my sprayer in the off season and within a couple weeks it was installed, tested, and it was returned to me this spring ready to run. As for implementing green eye on our farm and in cotton specifically, it was a little bit of a leap of faith because when I committed to the system, cotton wasn't an available crop option, but I knew they were in development. They had been taking drone images. I was able to help them with some data collection in my own fields. This season it was a full release for cotton and it worked very well. I think as far as the collaboration between me and Green Eye, it's been pretty smooth. I could make a phone call and I could have an update or a model change. Since this technology and especially its use in cotton is so new, I felt like it was important to kind of work alongside the Green Eye team. I was able to have them out to my farm and they brought their own machine and were able to test for a week and develop some new models and to make the system kind of work in tandem with, with mine and improve it in general. One of the main benefits I see from using the Green Eye system is a significant reduction in our overall chemical use. I can say for sure that the Green Eye system has helped reduce our herbicide use across the farm on all crops, even in fallow ground. It also allows us to broadcast pre-emerge herbicides and insecticides at the same time as we're spot spraying for weeds. Overall on our farm, I believe we have savings of more than 70% in our herbicide use. I can attest to saving money every time I've turned the system on. For example, in corn, I was able to save $20 per acre, and in cotton, at least $10 per trip. Beyond cost savings, I think the system allows me to make more effective herbicide choices where before the system, I would choose one herbicide due to cost. And today, since I'm only spraying a small percentage of the acres, I can maybe combine chemistries and be more effective at killing the weeds. One of the main things Green Eyes allowed me to do is it allows me to spray my weeds when they're small and easy to kill, where in the years past, the economic threshold was much later in the season, the weeds that were there were much larger and harder to kill. After using the system for a full year, looking ahead into the next season, I see myself changing the timing of my applications. This year, I started earlier than normal. I feel like that's more important than anything, so next year I'm gonna start even earlier. The other thing is combined chemistries so that we're more effective in that window of killing the weeds that we're after. I see the future of precision spraying expanding past just spot spraying for weeds into nutrient application, 
and insecticide application as well as plant growth regulators. I'm excited to see what the future holds for Green Eye, whether it be expanded crop options or more precise spraying that leads to more savings in general, and by reducing chemistry use, be an overall benefit to the environment.